What's up Porter County? I'm Asher Vanderwood and we have another selection of some great segments for you today in this week's Friday show. I hope you guys are prepared. Um, so without further ado, let's not waste any more time and get right into it. So here are this week's Friday show. Singing in the Rain, a 1952 musical slash comedy film starring Gene Kelly as Don Lockwood, Dignity, always Dignity, Debbie Reynolds as Kathy Selden. Well, if it isn't Ethel Barrymore, and Donald O'Connor as Cosmo Brown. Do another one. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Moses supposes his toes are roses. But Moses supposes erroneously. Sing in the Rain is one of the many musicals I grew up watching and has been one of my favorites, if not my most favorite movie I've seen so far. So let's talk about it. <laughs> the entire plot of the movie is we are introduced to Don Lockwood, the main character, trying to keep up his reputation as a film star with his co-star, Lena Lamont, played by Gene Hagen. Don't tell me. It's a flat tire. I can't understand it. This car hasn't given me a lick of trouble in nearly six hours. Don has to find an escape from the popularity by hopping into a passing car. Hey, Claus, do something! Get Call me a cab! Okay, you're a cab. But we quickly find out the driver is Kathy Selden. Kathy does not recognize Lockwood and rambles on about how actors cannot truly act and how real acting can only be portrayed on a live stage. This interaction sticks with Don. It gets carried with him, making him doubt his own acting abilities, seeking reassurance from Cosmo about himself and its thoughts about Kathy. Which easily leads us into one of the best musical numbers of the movie, but you can stop being lazy and watch that fully on your own time. Don later finds Kathy around the recording studio, acting in a short film shown to us with the song Beautiful Girl. You're a gorgeous mixture of all that lies under the big blue sky. My heart cries. The two grow closer and eventually become love interest further into the film, where following the film's name, Don is showed singing and performing in the rain, singing the iconic song, Singing in the Rain. Come on with the rain, I have a smile on my face. Dawn, Kathy, and Cosmo all band together to try and figure out a solution on how to handle a talking film. Kathy later landing on a thought of making it into a musical. 
but only problem standing in the way is Delina's voice. But Cosmo quickly has a solution, coming up with the thought that Kathy can voice over the singing parts without Lena's knowing. Lena and Don both going to a premiere, and Lena getting requested to sing the song Singing in the Rain live. Kathy is quickly forced behind the curtains to sing for Lena, but in justice, Don, Cosmo, and the film director all pull back the curtain to show whose voice was truly being shown. Overall, for this being an older film, it will forever have a special place in my heart, and I think it holds a lot of history behind the transition for actors to go from adjusting from black and white no talking films to quote unquote talking pictures. I rate this movie a 9 out of 10 and heavily suggest giving it a watch for yourself if you think that this sparks your interest. Hey guys, welcome back to the Friday show in which we're going to be trying uh, Chamoy Gushers, which is basically just um, Gushers, but um, they're just like dunked in Chamoy. And actually, I've actually never had these. These are not open at all. And um, that. And um, so I'm here with a special guest, Sean Aguilera. I'm from the electrical maintenance class. Yep. So um, here I have Isaiah Trey. You good with spicy food? Um. I'm fine with spicy food. It's oh my god! <laughs> I forgot how chamoy is, is. It's like sticky. Like, wanna do a smell test? Uh, yeah. This is not bad. It smells like a raisin. Does it say the Scoville units on it? Um, let me see if it says Scoville units. Uh, no. But uh, Susie M says these gushes were just mouth watering with lots of flavors. So um, I, I guess it kind of does that. So I'm not really sure. So um, let me just. Oh god, it's hard to get out. All right, so this is, um, this, uh, I don't think you can see. Um, these are Sean's, and um, this one's mine. Oh God, dude, I'm gonna have to wash my hands after this. This is not, the napkin does not help. So yeah, let's dig in, I guess. All right. It's like grab two. It feels like a gusher, you've had a gusher yeah, before. Yeah, it feels like that. All right, three, two, one. Okay, all right, pretty good. Um, I could taste the um, gusher, of course. But, um, oh, I could feel that spice coming in, actually. Really? Yeah. Tolerable spice or just normal? It's like, it's tolerable, I could say. Literally just taste, it literally is a gusher, that's all it is. Yeah, that's literally it. Yeah. That. But, um, yeah. You're good. Yeah, you're good. How much were they? Six dollars, but it says five ninety nine on here, so. Um, yeah, so um, I believe this is pretty good. Honestly, a, um, it's a 9 out of 10 for me. It's like, it's a good mixture of sweet and spicy. It's like one of the best. What would you rate it though? See, I'd rate it because the bag says, um, like, what did it say? It said dangerously addicting. I give it personally a 7 out of 10 because it's comparable. That's what it is. There's nothing that really stands out, I guess. Mm -hmm. It tastes just like a gusher. It's spicy. Yep. Yeah. Pretty good though. I, I wouldn't. It wouldn't be my first go-to candy snack though, right. especially not for six dollars. Mm -hmm. And especially, I don't think I don't think I'd see this in any like regular store like Walmart, Target, or Meyer or something like that. It's like yeah, that's one of those places you gotta go to. Yeah, like yeah, because I know Marshalls and um, Home Goods have like the really weird and odd snacks. I've seen like tahine uh, peach rings and like watermelon rings mm. before. Five Below too, they got, I think that's next to home Five goods. Below is, Five Below also has some good um, snacks or candy and such. It's, yeah. Those are like my top three um, best places to get like snacks that are very unique and such. But um, yeah, so that's it and that's all. So um, thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, it is Liam Shot from PC3 Media, and this week for the Friday show, I'm going to bring you a guest that sound segment starring two new year one students from PC3 Media. Hope you guys enjoy. Hey guys, how you doing? It's Damari from PC3, and I'm Brayden from PC3. Round one, fight! Those are keys clicking. Yep, Brayden got it right at one point. <laughs> <laughs> Just, yeah. <laughs> Gotta be faster, dude. Round two, fight. Right, <laughs> 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 
I didn't give a chance. Uh, I say like sweeping. Play it out. Play it out. Let me get it. Let me get a free shot. You can't go Somebody again. It's my turn. Into something? Somebody crashing into something. Dude, what are you? This is what are your questionnaire? Go ahead. Glass breaking. Yeah, exactly. What is That's this? what I thought. It's a garbage can. That's not That's a garbage so stupid. can. All right. No one gets that point. That's just that was dumb. dumb. That was dumb. That wasn't dumb. Round three. I got it. I got it. Fireworks. No. Dude, this is so dumb. I'm like, what? Popcorn. Oh, let's go! Oh, that's let's go! That's the most animated let's popcorn go. I've ever heard in my life. Let's go! So animated. Round four. Fight! <laughs> Get out of here, bro. Ice into a cup. Yep. Oh Thanks. my god. Uh, oh, yeah, that's not a me. two to one. The Marty Stone. Hey, cook. Round five. Fight! Two to one, it's two to two. What are you talking about? I'm getting screwed out of here. That's a pop can opening. Oh my god. Just yeah, that is a, that's a humongous human. Round six. A fan. A fan. A vacuum. No. Something. I don't, I don't know. What is that? What is that? Play it again. An airplane. Fool. That's a fan. That's literally a vacuum. Nope, that is a lawnmower. That's what? so baloney. That's so what? stupid. No. That is, dude. What yeah. are these sounds? Whatever, whatever. Round seven. Pouring something in a cup. Nope. What is this ASMR, is bro? Play this play is stupid. Are you ready? ASMR on TikTok. Oh, that's a that's a a chip crunching. No. Someone oh, silently the touching the mic with their fingertip to make ASMR. Asparagus. Bro, this is dumb. What is this? Yeah, Celery. All right. Oh, yeah. A pretzel. No, it's a breakfast food. Bacon. No. Right, I'm done. Play one more it's time. White. It's white? <laughs> oh, an egg. An egg. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he sounded like that's your whole go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. The bar you got that one? Oh, oh, I'm some just not him nice at right everything. Now. All right. Final round. Fight. Let's get to the final round. Final round. Final round. Alright, here's the next one. What is oh, that? oh, that's a that's a that's a kickball. That's a kickball sound. Yeah, it is. Bro, let's go! What are these let's questions? Go. I'm a like, kickball? Bro, nah, have you never play played kickball in recess? Nah. <laughs> Sit back down, take your L take your L, bro. I need, take your L. I need some water, I'm dehydrated. Dude, I don't think it's w. I need some Alright y'all, peace. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is the moment you have all been waiting for. The introduction of the AMPC3 class. I think we did a pretty good job so far. Hello and welcome to Media Wipe, the show where we cover all kinds of lost media. I am your host, Connor Bray, and as August runs its course, we begin to get closer and closer to the fall season. The cold temperatures, the orange leaves falling down from the trees, and the season of all things spooky. 
As Halloween creeps ever closer to us, we cannot help but think of all things horror. Horror is not just cheap jump scares and practical effects. Rather, it's a primal sense. Fear used to be what kept us alive and safe. And now, it's a medium for our entertainment. An escape from our harsh reality into one more hellish. Last year alone, 567 horror films and 1,637 horror games were made to satisfy our yearn for the dark. So, join me tonight as we take a look at three pieces of horror lost media. On August 12th of 2014, a mysterious game demo was uploaded to the PlayStation Store. In this demo, your character goes through what seems to be some sort of time loop in a creepy and mysterious house. The house seeming to deteriorate with each loop of gameplay, and tension building with every step you take. Once completed, you would get a cutscene of the camera following a man walking down a foggy and lamplit street. The camera eventually panning up to his face to reveal Norman Reedus, who, if you didn't know, was Daryl on The Walking Dead. This whole demo was an interactive teaser for a future game with the working name of Silent Hills. This generated hype from many Silent Hill fans, speculating that Silent Hills would be the best game in the whole series, but unfortunately, it was not to be. Three years later in 2015, Silent Hills was cancelled due to Kojima parting ways with Konami that same year. It is unknown just how complete that Silent Hills was, but it is theorized that the game was around the beta stage of development. You will never know, however, as the files were deleted right after its cancellation. You can only hope that someday Konami finds files related to Silent Hill on an old hard drive and puts them out to the world. London After Midnight is perhaps the most famous and coveted piece of horror lost media dubbed the Holy Grail of Horror Media by many collectors and fans of the genre. Directed and written by famous horror director Todd Browning, London After Midnight follows a rather hard to follow plot involving Roger Balfour being found dead. A Scotland Yard official by the name of Burke, played by Lon Chaney, after questioning all the witnesses, rules his death a suicide, despite an objection by a close friend of Balfour's. Five years later, strange lights appear in the old Balfour house. Not only that, but a mysterious and vampiric looking man in a top hat and long robes begins to stalk the halls, Balfour's daughter believing him to be her father. Confused yet? So am I. However, that doesn't make its loss any less tragic. The last known copy of the film was destroyed in the MGM vault fire of 1965, leaving us now only with production stills and a movie poster, the only evidence left to prove its existence. My hope is that somewhere out there, a private collector has a reel of the footage stored in their collection. However, as the years go on, it becomes more and more or less likely that this movie will ever be found. This entry is one that I haven't seen discussed anywhere online until now. Corpse Party New Chapter was a mobile remake of the RPG Maker survival horror game Corpse Party, developed by Makoto Kaduyan in 1996. For those unfamiliar, Corpse Party follows a group of friends telling scary campfire stories after a school festival. Suddenly, the group are sucked into a mysterious and abandoned school haunted by the spirit of a deceased student named Shinazaki. New Chapter followed this storyline, but added new characters and new chapters to play through, along with graphical enhancements. Five chapters were planned for this mobile port, but only four released, with the last releasing in 2008. This was due to the devs abandoning New Chapter in favor of a PC remaster known as Corpse Party Blood Covered. It is still unknown when distribution for the game ceased, but it hasn't been available since at least 2010. Currently, the only proof that the mobile port exists is footage of Chapter 1's opening, which can be found on Lost Media Wiki. This, I feel, seems to be the least likely on this list to be found, as mobile games are much harder to archive than others which have been physically released due to being online exclusive. The obscurity of this game doesn't help its case either. However, there is a part of me that still hopes that the files of this remaster will be found in possession of an old developer. Until then, this game will remain an enigma. I hope you enjoyed today's list of lost oddities. I know I certainly enjoyed researching them. Up next will be wrestling lost media, so strap up your boots for that. Until next time, keep an open mind and a persistent spirit. This has been Media White, signing off.
guys, I'm Harley. I did this really awesome geocaching video last year, and I enjoyed doing it a lot, and I think a lot of people enjoyed seeing it. So I decided that I was going to do one more, but before I get into it, I want to give you guys a quick recap on what geocaching is. What geocaching is, is when you go and find something that somebody else has hidden around your neighborhood or your town or your city, whatever you, wherever you live. But essentially, they hide it, you go find it, you get to see what they put in it, you sometimes put stuff in there or sometimes you just seal it back up and let somebody else find it but it's really fun to do so let's go ahead and get into the video so this one was next to a steak and shake in front of an abandoned building which was really cool i believe the building used to be a furniture building but anyways it is there is a lamp post in front of that building which had this little sippy cup in it that was the geocache so let's go see what's inside of it This one was behind a hospital, which was really weird to walk behind and really interesting to find one here because I didn't think anybody would put one here until I looked at the app, which was really cool to find one here. And I found it really interesting, but it was underneath a dirty lamppost and I hated trying to get to it, but I had to do it. It was really cool to find and there were some cool objects in there. So let's take a look. So the next one I ended up finding was in front of a Planet Fitness and a tractor supply and it was a two for one. It was tied up in a tree and it was really cool to find. It was really easy too. So let's go see what was in them. The next one I found was behind some apartment buildings in Founders Square in Portage, Indiana, which was really cool to find because I thought 100% when I pulled up it was going to be in this light post but it I was so wrong I lifted up the box for the light post it wasn't in there and I was wrong and so I went down to the next light post and I found it the last geocache that we're gonna take a look at today guys is one I found a while ago but I wanted to go look at it and see how it was doing but when I showed up, the duck was on the ground, everything was missing, and the jar and lid was still there. So what I decided to do is I decided to run down back down the hill and go in my car and grab a couple things. I grabbed a business card, a thing I call Squishy that me and my friend call Squishy because it's Squishy. Um, we, I grabbed some money, put some money in there, and then I also grabbed an old fold phone holder piece, and I put that in there, hopefully to see it grow. And we found three out of three geocaches that we sought out to find today, guys, and we put one back together. So this is Harley, and I hope to see you guys again. Alright, so I don't live under a rock. I know everybody knows that Siege is considered to be one of the hardest games to truly master and become good at. You have to have immense game IQ, intelligence to be able to know where people are, who is doing what, all the jazz. Recently, I unlocked the option to play ranked, and of course, you know, I'm not going to back down from a challenge. So. Here I am. Do you guys think that I can do it? That I can truly become good at Six Siege? Stick around and find out. This is a super cut of Rainbow Six Siege. Let's get into it. What? How does he know I'm there? I'm behind the couch. I'm literally behind the couch. How did he see me? Are you kidding me? Oh, there's literally people in there? No way. Oh, I see you guys. Oh, I'm gonna take them out. They're done. Beat me. I dare you. Chuck a grenade. What? In what world? I literally threw a grenade. Are you kidding me? This game is trash. 
man, I know these operators are like rushing us, but I really got to use the bathroom. Oh, is that a guy? Bang! Wow, what an idiot. Ah, sit down, boy. You have nothing on me. Please, please, guys, stop. Stop with the applause. I'm trying to focus here. No matter how many people that you throw at me, I will continue to gun them down. Like it means nothing to me because it is in my blood it is what i do out of a hundred soldiers 90 of them are just target practice they're going to die nine of them don't belong there they should just they didn't belong there at, at any time and one of them are a true warrior i am that one person i am the one soldier i was made to do this These guys think they're so good. They think they can come in here, guns drawn, ready to take me out. But they forgot their first rule to life. Always watch for traps. See, my aim is so bad. What is garage? Or attic, attic, attic. Oh my gosh, who just flashed me? You're awful. Again! Who is that? No longer in your possession. God, whoever just threw both of those flashbangs, you suck. Please never touch this game again. Brother, this guy stinks! No! Are you kidding me? Why do they just keep coming after me? It's one after the other. Like, where was my team during that game? I literally was there for all of it, taking guy after guy out. It doesn't make any sense. My teammates are a bunch of single cellular organisms. No, we're not playing canal. I, we are not playing canal. No, what are we doing? Okay. No, not coastline, bro, not coastline. We are not playing canal. We're no, no, we're not playing canal. No. Okay. Relax, bro. Oh, Bungabee, Bungabee with the whole skin is looking nice, but is that? Oh, Bungabee. I think that, that's. I think that's, that's bad. That was best, yeah. Ah! Loading new mag. Bunga B. Yeah, I'm paranoid. I'm paranoid. Like I'm right down in some covers. If you're him, tell me where. Bro, I have no clue. Bunga B, what's the kill? Whoa! Hatch! If you're him, tell me what I hope you guys enjoyed those segments. I hope to see you back here for the next Friday show. Have a good weekend, Porter County.